Welcome back. I'm going to teach you how to make a Jen Stark inspired artwork using Google Drawings. So to begin, we need to find Google Drawings by going to our drive, clicking new, more, and Google Drawings. It'll open up a new page, which you're immediately going to want to rename to have your name and whatever artwork you want to call it. So I'm going to call it Miss Griffin Stark. And that should make it easy for me to find later. So for this one, we might want to change the background, but not yet. We're actually going to use a tool called the Scribble tool. So towards the bottom of your image, you are going to draw a scribble using the Scribble tool. And you're going to just draw a very just loose and drippy, maybe some little drips, some really long drips, and just kind of let it go with the flow. Make some big drips, some small drips until you get to the edge. And it's okay if you overlap the edge a little bit because we're going to cut those off later. Now, while your line is still connected, and you can see it because it has a blue outline, you are going to change its color. So I'm going to change mine to pink for now. And you're going to change it to its maximum pixel size, 24. And you can see it made a really vibrant drip line with a really thick kind of inside. Now we want to be able to copy and paste this. So I'm going to make sure I have my cursor tool. And when I select my cursor tool, it gives me this box, which means that my drip is selected. So I'm going to copy and paste my drip. You'll see it's the same color. I need to change its color. And you can kind of adjust your drip to be either just on top and use the arrow keys sometimes to move it up. You can either use your cursor or your arrow keys to do this. And you're going to repeat this process as many times as you want. The more times that you um, line up that drip and move it up, the more of the illusion is going to take place. So you're going to want to make sure that illusion goes all the way up if you can, or at least as far as you're comfortable with. Um, I'm going to try some yellow this time. You can see it goes very quickly. Um, think about your color scheme. You could do rainbow colors. You could do... Um, maybe two or three of your favorite colors. You could do a repeating pattern of three or four colors. And keep an eye on um, your drips here because you want to make sure that these drips um, are contained. And then when you're finished with your drips and you're happy with the way they turned out, you can also change the background color by right-clicking anywhere in the blank space, clicking background and picking color. I'm going to pick black so it stands out. And you might also notice that there's some gaps in your... Um, in your artwork. And if that happens, just select the one that has the gap and move it down one or two until it's closed. You can also select a group and then you can move it around. For example, if I want it to be just like Jen Stark, I might have it towards the top here. Um, if I also want to, let's say, repeat this pattern, this is the color pattern I want, I can click on the side, the right side, click group. It'll make these all into a group that you can edit together, they won't separate. You can copy and paste that entire group if you want and move it up really easily and quickly. That's a really easy way to make a quick pattern that you want to repeat. So be efficient. You know, it's not considered cheating. This is using your tools wisely. You're going to be able to make this really awesome design because you use your tools in a way that made sense. And I'm going to let my drips go to the top until I see no more black on the top. That's going to be my goal. Maybe one more. You can see it's moving my canvas up for me because I have so much on there. All right. Now when I'm finished, I have this cool drip design. It's being repeated. It looks awesome. I'm going to click File. I'm going to download JPEG, and it'll come up on the bottom. You can copy it to clipboard and add it to your Google Slides. Nice job and have fun.